is the channel guys and today we are checking when wannabe gangsters get checked by police please don't forget to like the video and comment down below if you want more content like this gangsters are supposed to be seen as thugs who don't back down from anything but what happens when fake gangsters get caught by real gangsters these There's are times one when wannabe gangsters get put in their place starting with the wannabe gangster who was talking tough and dissing dead people online until he got caught and pressed by the deceased person's family members because the dude was obviously feeling himself and trying to get some clout so he uploaded a video on the ground of a diss track he made <laughs> And not long after, the dude posted that he got caught and pressed for all the dissing he was doing. He definitely didn't keep that same energy when he got caught. Hey, Mike, Who you smoking on? You still smoking on Mikey? No. I'm smoking on my own dead homies. I'm smoking on my own dead homies. Who your dead homies? Matter of fact, who your grandpa? You smoking on grandpa? Yeah, bro. You smoking on grandpa? Yeah, bro. So what the yeah, hell? The dudes even made him lick the bottom of their shoe since they were pissed at the wannabe gangster for dissing on their people. Forces. Lick, lick my man forces. Lick the top of my forces right now. Lick his force. Lick it. Bro, lick that joint, bro. Lick, bro. Yeah, more, I'm not playing, yeah, more. Real rap. I don't ever want to see you make a video. I don't want to see you rap none of that shit, Real rap. All right, bro. Lucky I ain't. And thankfully, they didn't harm the cult. It just made him apologize because things could have got way worse since people don't take this in the dead like this. And this next person had to find that out the hard way because a dude named GBL Gaston thought it would be a good idea to diss dead celebrities since he thought it would make him look gangster. Because after Nipsey Hussle passed away, he started claiming to be the one who took him out. He even took things so far and threw a cup of urine on Nipsey's mural. Day home where I'm at, you see the time and all that, 7.40 on a day home you see the piss? Finna throw piss on cut on a dead homie's cut. Look, piss on cut. <laughs> dead homies. Then, not long after that, he allegedly went to Nipsey's grave and disrespected him again. Spit on cut grave. Since he's not a dead homie. It's no headboard, cause cut not. Like, no, they don't want nobody to find it. So the dead homies, I'm a nick. My blur at cut grave. There's no know where this is at, right? Exactly. Gaston originally came up as a Minecraft YouTuber, but since it wasn't getting a buzz fast enough, he started going crazy on social media, chasing clout and trying to look gangster. But people eventually got tired of all the trolling and videos started going around showing what he's really like when someone really about that life catches him out. For example, one video shows someone spotting him in the street and when they tried to press him, Gaston allegedly ran into the police station and another dude called Gaston and made him apologize for disrespecting Nipsey. Don't be dissing my this the game I know my that's the piece of all the say sorry bro I'm sorry bro I don't know what I'm saying yeah weird your weird ass up Okay, guys, don't do this no more, bro. But things only got worse because some Hoovers caught Gaston in the street a few weeks later and whooped them very badly since they were tired of all the trolling. Hopefully, Gaston goes back to gaming how he started off before the wrong person catches him and things get out of hand. And his next dude thought it would be a good idea to act tough with the store employee since he knew the employee couldn't do much. But it wasn't a good idea because seconds later, a bigger dude came behind him and put him in his place for trying to put on a tough act. Hey. Hey, I got something to blow your head off. Come with. Come with. Come with. Come with. Come with. You better do better than that. You better do better than that. That little bit of guy. That little bit of Hey, I'm at the business home, boy. I've been here for a minute, mom. And after the bigger dude pressed him, the fake tough guy completely changed his act up and tried to act like nothing ever happened. Hey, man, bro, I was breaking the real problem. Oh, you ain't gonna lie, Pop. I'm the real deal. Come on, man. I'm not man. I'm not man. I'm not man. Like Next up, we got a wannabe gangster who tried pressing NBA Youngboy just since he's in front of a large crowd of people. And it didn't turn out how he thought it would because NBA Youngboy was chilling in LA until a dude repping Bounty Hunter Watch Bloods tried to press YB while he was walking down the street. It's not clear how it started, but Youngboy and the other dude started yelling back and forth with each other while Youngboy's partner held him back. Another video shows Youngboy and the dude yelling at each other again in another spot. Do something, you said, oh, right right you, 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 you,
Young boy was trying to get at the dude so they could throw hands, but the other dude wasn't really trying to make a move and just wanted to put on a tough act. But NBA Young Boy ain't the only one from the NBA crew who had to put a wannabe gangster in their place. Because Young Boy's homie, D Dog, and another dude were walking down the street when the guy with the camera came up and said, I'm a real sh. What about D-Dog and his homie, who gang D, ain't know what was going on. And then the dude said, I, I like your chain. What that mean? I'm the original chain uh, I'm the original chain snatcher. Alright. I'm a real street. Alright. D-Dog and who gang D started walking off. But the camera guy started following them. D-Dog told him. Brother, it's, it's a prank. I'm a comedian, Doc. Hey, no, no, much love. Much love. Oh, no, but God bless you. Martin Luther King. Bro, I love you, brother. No, I'm not a comedian. My life. That's when a dude who was acting tough flipped the script and told him that he was a comedian since he quickly found out D-Dog and his homie weren't playing. And D-Dog is the last person a civilian should try and mess with. He was arrested for a murder at 14 years old. And now he's been charged in an attempted murder case from 2018. When the cops tried to bring him in on the charge, D-Dog got into a high-speed chase that ended with him crashing and killing his homie, who was in the passenger seat. Police found guns and a ski mask in the car. And now D-Dog's sitting in jail on an insane $19.7 million bond. It's a good thing the wannabe gangster turned around and left when he did, because there's no telling what would have gone down if he tried to keep acting tough with him. Now, let's move on to this next dude who was trying to act too tough, and it didn't turn out as planned. Because the dude was trying to let everyone know that he's a killer and a real street dude. Yo, God, <laughs> It seems like he was trying to scare the dude in the white jacket, but he wasn't really phased by him. So seconds later, he snatches up the dude and tells him he's going to walk him out of the building. Oh, man. I'm gonna walk him out, bro. Oh, I'm gonna walk him out, man. I know something And it doesn't seem like that was a good idea because this happens next. After getting smacked up, the dude who was putting on a tough act, whole mood changed. And he wasn't trying to do anything else after what just happened. Don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me, bro. I'm telling you. I'm touching you. Man, I'm touching you. Now let's move on to a dude from New York who's trying to act gangster and pick on an old dude outside of his apartment since he wanted to look hard in front of everyone. Because the dude walks up to the old guy and says he's gonna smoke him and even swings at the older man for no reason. The older dude obviously didn't know why the dude was picking on him since he was just minding his business. But seconds later, after the wannabe gangster went inside the apartments, some real goons pressed him since they saw what he was doing and weren't happy about it. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Why you picking on the old man for? Why you picking on the old man? For? It could have been your fault. For you bug out. Now look at you, scared in the hallway, shaking. Pissing your pants. The wannabe gangster then tells the guy that he isn't trying to do anything since he already knew he had met his match and would have got dead bad. You got it, bro. I don't want no problem. Next time I see you picking on the old man, I'm gonna beat you Hello. up. I'm gonna show you a young boy could do. Stop picking on old man. Next time I see you bullying somebody, I'm gonna fuck up. Cause you really, you not even like that. You really bot. But that ain't the only time I want to be gangster got checked for messing with someone weaker than them. Because this next dude was picking and punching on a disabled guy since he thought it'd make him look cool. So some dudes came up to him after he did this and tried making him apologize. Stop punching your Muslim brothers. Especially the disabled ones. Are you gonna apologize for your behavior earlier? We're disgusted. Who are you? We're disgusted. Oh, hey, he's a You're violent. You're violent. No You're violent. You are smelling hold on, hold on. alcohol. You're violent. You are smelling drugs. Yeah. Violent. You have no life. But no violence. I have what no life. No violence. You punched a disabled man oh, today. Am I violent now? Yes. You yes. punched yes. a disabled yes. man today. Disabled man. Yes. Yes. The dudes were arguing with each other for a good minute until the dude tried to act tough and swing on one of the dudes. And from there, it was an all out brawl. And let's move on because this next dude thought he was too tough and didn't want someone looking at him when walking. But it wasn't a good idea because he walks past the guy and asks him. You want me killed? 
right. And I guess the dude took whatever he said as disrespect. So he folded him up right after that. Yo, one punch with him. <laughs> now let's move on to Soldier Boy because Yo. everyone knows Soldier Boy is a rapper who always tries to put on a super tough act to make it seem like he's about that life. Gon' die. Talking about we not paying nothing now. We standing on business. I'm, the, I'm one of the last straight rappers in the game. I'm one of the last straight rappers in the game. We promoting beef. We promoting violence. We not paying our fingernails. You talking about? Talking about? Y'all could be brainwashed if y'all want to. Headshot. Come on. Why are you trying to talk about LPs, Dracos, Five Sevens, Glocks, Hollow Tips, Switches? And many rappers who beef with Soldier Boy in the past are now dead. And even though Soldier has nothing to do with these deaths, he still made it seem like he was some untouchable demon. And one day, Say Cheese asked Charleston White why he thinks all of Soldier Boy's ops die after their beefs. And Charleston made a complete joke about it. Every rapper that Soldier Boy had beef with over the past two, three years, all passed away. Young Dog, Drake the Rule, uh, Trouble. Um, uh, Soulja Boy spoke out on that after Trouble passed. He said, you went out like My ops don't exist no more. I ain't, I told you, boy, the Crunchy Black said he was a punk. Yeah, Crunchy Black still real. Yeah, yeah, the Crunchy Black talk real bad about Let, Man, listen. I want to remind Soulja Boy. You ain't got no mother option. After Soldier Boy saw this interview, he went live and went off on Charleston White and Say Cheese, asking who gave them permission to speak on his name. Say Cheese, no jumping. DJ Vlad, suck my. DJ Vlad, you no jumper. You. Say Cheese, Sean Yo. Cotton. You. Oh God. A month after this small back and forth, Charleston was out shopping with his crew in Miami when Soldier Boy and 11 other dudes pulled up in a Sprinter van and approached Charleston, claiming they just wanted to talk things out. A few words were exchanged, and once things started to heat up, Charleston pulled out his pepper spray and hit Soldier Boy and some of his crew members with it. After the altercation, Charleston went live and confirmed that the rumors going around were true. One more time, just for goodness sake, hey, that boy said. <laughs> Man, man, you made, and he say, bro, you made me jail. Yeah. <laughs> After Charleston did that, Soldier Boy went on live explaining how Charleston was scary for using pepper spray. You are so, so scared of me. You got to pull out this, pepper spray out your purse, running with pepper spray. What the? But after the situation, many rappers and Why fans spoke on it, like saying Soulja Boy bro. got what he deserved, like since he always crazy. tries to act too gangster. Like so Cream tweeted, y'all better leave Charleston White alone before his old put one of y'all on a shirt. But Soulja Boy isn't the only known person who always acts tough and gets embarrassed. The Island Boys are also known for always trying to act gangster in the street. So one dude spotted one of the Island Boys out in public by himself, and his energy wasn't the same as how he acts online. When you come to this city, you gotta check on me. I'm everywhere, you feel me? Yeah, you gotta check in. Why you be talking though? Don't, it don't bro, matter. It don't matter. When you come here, you gotta check on me. Unless you talking online, I really be doing that out here for real. You feel me? Look, I thought he was the other type of way in real life though. Ain't you really like that though? You say you gangster everywhere you go, right? No, but you say you was gangster though, right? Thankfully, things didn't get too out of hand in this situation. But I can't say the same about this one dude who shot at the cops while on IG Live. Or the dude who smoked one of his ops and bragged about it on live. So click this video to see the seven craziest shootings on IG Live. My word, bro. It's something I have to check out, bro. I don't know why. My, my, the camera, the quality of my camera is low. For some reason. For some reason it dropped, but yo, we're gonna keep this reactions going. So next video, be alive. The time I upload this, be alive. Please be alive, guys. 